is Countdown to Economic Collapse, June 19th, 2011. I'm David John Sponheim for America's Third Party. I'm running for president in 2012. And if you've been watching this show for the longest time that we've been doing it, you probably know that our country is being fooled. We're probably anesthetized somehow, probably by the amount of debt we have, by the personal debt everyone has, around $15,000 per person, or perhaps by the, the propaganda that Barack Obama and the Democrats are managing to put forth on the media, and how the two-party system is working together to keep our mind off of the real, the real problem at hand, which is uniting America. How are we going to do that when we have the Republicans and Democrats fighting over every single thing in the budget? When we have to cut about a trillion dollars off our budget in 2013 in order to get back on our feet? So, we've got issues going on with the Greek economy still. Tuesday, they're meeting in Greece to decide whether they're going to have another bailout. We're going to see if that happens. It's weakening the euro, and the dollar is gaining on the euro because the euro is taking a big hit from this Greek tragedy that's unfolding. But we have a situation at Fukushima that is pretty serious. The IAEA recently made an assessment of what happened and they are very critical of the Japanese government in dealing with preparations for a potential tsunami or earthquake like they had on March 11th. Since then, the reactor has gotten out of control. The water containment itself was going to be recently cleaned up, but they couldn't get that to work. Oil futures market has gone down as a result of concerns about fuel usage around the world, especially with the Greek economy in trouble, rioting in the streets. People aren't going to be driving around a lot, and they anticipate lower costs for fuel as a result of that because of lower demand. But that's a good thing. We need lower cost fuel. It will help invigorate our economy, but it doesn't help solve the long-term goal of trans referring our efforts to renewable energy as opposed to coal and oil. We have to start thinking about energy independence. That's critical in our country. If we can't get energy independence in four years, we could be stalling. Our economy could face higher prices from the Middle East, especially as supplies dwindle. <laughs> well, people are asking me, why, why me? Why David John Sponheim? Well, for one, I'm an average American. And I appeal to everyone who's an average American who doesn't have a voice in government. Second of all, I am not tied to political connections. I don't have moneyed streams of donations coming from big corporations. That makes me more of your representative. And other people are saying, David, you have no experience in politics. Well, I ask you, you think that I'll be able to get the word across for Americans if I am bought off, co-opted by political ties? Do you think I'm going to expose the, the secrets behind the inner workings of our government so that we can get back to honesty if I'm already part of the political process? Of course not. I can't be bought off because I'm unbiable. I am the unbiable candidate. And I urge you to think about the future with any of the other candidates who are clearly in the hands of big business, corporations, academic leaders controlling their, their future. We don't want a nation slipping into a socialism, the kind that Barack Obama is putting out, the kind that he studied at Columbia University. We don't want to see our country go back to a Karl Rove style of politics, the neoconservative movement that seems to disregard human rights and social concerns. We want a nation that's dedicated to a centrist future, uniting America. Check us out at americasthirdparty.com.